My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I have got an amazing restored 1972 Challenger Rally. This thing is really exceptionally nice. I'll make a believer out of you by the end of this video. Now they did away with the RT. The Rally is what replaced the RT. This is the top dog Challenger of that year. This one's got a performance built number match 340 motor under the hood, Rally gauges, power steering, power disc brakes, supposedly $90,000 rotisserie restoration. I just bought three really nice cars uh, from a collector's estate. This is one of them. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the information, take your time studying the pictures, and that's where you find a price tag on every one of our cars, along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe, click on the bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, Join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, really nice underneath. First of all, the floors, frame rails, all the metal looks to be in really good solid shape. Uh, they did prep it and they put a thin undercoat on the metal. Now you look at the front end, it's fresh, all rebuilt. Looks like all new components, all nice painted finishes. I mean, it looks new. All the bushings and ball joints and steering components. Uh, has gas shocks at all four corners. The rear springs look like they're new. It's always hard to tell, uh, but they look very fresh. Uh, the fuel tank sending unit, that's all new. Disc brakes up front, that looks new. The e-brake is hooked up. Uh, it's got a great sounding dual exhaust. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. It does have the square tips coming out through the valance. Uh, I think they're called super flow mufflers and it has a little crossover pipe. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's immaculate. It's not even oily, greasy, dusty. I mean, the motor is spotless. The freeze plugs are still shiny. The casting code, the casting date code is all proper. And then the actual VIN number, it's stamped down there on that pad, matches the car. Uh, the transmission is a rebuilt 727 automatic. <clears throat> It's correct for the car. I believe it's number match to the car. It was really hard to read the numbers, but it is a correct transmission. Uh, eight and three quarter rear end has 355 gears in it. The rear end's all painted, restored, looks real nice. Uh, so yeah, under the car is in really excellent shape. The body, well, first of all, it's a sharp looking car. The rally still comes with the, they call it the power bulge hood with the scoops. The racing mirrors, the color, the strobe stripe, it's a looker. Fit and finish is better than it was when it was sitting on the showroom floor in 1972. Absolutely straight. I don't see any damage. I already went around, I had a few minutes before we started, and I looked at everything, and this is all straight, lines up nice. I didn't see any body work showing or popping through or shrinking or anything like that. There is a chip right here in the paint. Uh, if I forget, I might as well point it out now. But the body is amazing. All the gaps, spot on, flush, no waves, no damage, no rust. Really, really clean body. I think they're the original quarter panels. I was inside. I didn't see any cuts or splices. The original... Uh, like undercoat they spray it was all in there so good clean solid car uh, repainted top banana yellow it is polished smooth and glossy as they have one chip on the other door they did a really good job matching the color so no one's going to notice it uh, but again slick smooth glossy paint everywhere uh, the strobe stripe I think it's a really cool stripe one of my favorites New emblems, it also has the fender turn signals, the you know, lenses look new, everything up here, the bezels are sparkling, the bumper, the grill looks like new, the rubber strips and the little rubber fillers, all of that's in mint shape. <clears throat> all the glass is new, 
all the way around. Usually we have the windows down. I just think cars look better that way. I rolled them up on purpose because look at how nice they fit. That's shut like a new car with the windows up. If you've restored cars or owned old cars, you'll appreciate what I'm talking about. Now, all this stainless trim looks like it's been buffed and polished. The vinyl top is new. Uh, the wheels are in excellent shape. A uh, little bit of pitting on the center cap, but the trim and the wheels are excellent. Uh, tires are in excellent shape. Said the rear glass, all the glass is new. Rear bumper, tail lights, all that looks to be in great shape. So fantastic car. I got a lot more to show you inside. So let's peel this banana and see what we got inside. Painted up real nice. Got a new sticker. The jam is slick. The weather strip is new. And the whole trunk compartment, all clean metal, even up under the mats. I lifted it up. Uh, it's all good, clean, smooth, painted. You know, the filler necks, the grommets, all that's real nice. The back of the seat has new insulation. The jams are just as clean as the outside. The latches, the weather strips, the wind... Uh, Window seals, the sill plates, all that's in excellent shape. Door panels are mint. Those are real high quality door panels. There's some chintzier ones. Those are nice, solid door panels. The wood grain, the handles, all of it's mint. The dash pad is mint. It has the rally gauges. And look how nice, look how brand new everything looks. The wood grain, the heater controls, the tachometer. Uh, it has a factory AM FM radio, even the ashtray is like new, even the glove box looks like new, the screws, the light works, has the owner's manual. It is a factory air conditioned car, so it has everything inside here, but not under the hood. Uh, but the kick panels, the carpet, even this console, I've sold $100,000, $125,000 Cudas and Challengers, where this is a little pitted. This all looks brand new. The slapstick shifter, the handle, everything is mint. Steering wheel's not worn. The cushions, <clears throat> cushions in the seat are real nice. There's not even a wrinkle. Uh, all new upholstery. Backs of the seat. Uh, all the seat belts, the rear seat, the side panels. Excellent. It's one of the nicest interiors I've seen. Headliner's real nice. The dome light works. The visors you've seen sitting in the trunk haven't been put in for some reason. You can feel where they go. Uh, so, yeah, those have not been put in. Those doors shut nice. We've got show quality motor compartment here. Again, number match 340 motor. It has a performance build. It's got a cam. It's got Edelbrock aluminum heads, uh, Y-end aluminum intake, Edelbrock carb with electric choke. I said a long tube coated headers. Look how brand new and fresh everything looks. Look at everything on the firewall. All the components look new. It's all painted real nice. Heater control valve, chrome alternator. The radiator, the shroud, the clutch fan all looks like new. It has an aluminum water pump. Batteries bolted down. The washers are hooked up. We got power steering, we got power brakes. All the metal is clean, straight, square, and it all has a smooth, glossy finish. Nice sounding, nice sounding exhaust, nice low cam. Two 
few things that our shop doesn't worry about fixing our clocks because they never work in radios because so many people change the radio. This has a factory AM FM and it looks like it has four new speakers but the radio doesn't turn on. You go have to decide if you want to fix that or put the stereo in there. Nowhere near is this one of my most expensive cars, but I'm going to tell you, this is one of my nicest cars. The restoration quality throughout, I think, is really, really strong. Uh, when uh, Russell, the cameraman, walked in, I told him, first thing I said, this car is really nice. So there you have it. Got a hot little ticket right here. It's hot, hot looking, it sounds great, and it's show ready. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help get it delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.